Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, let's start a new arena run. What do we got? Gul'dan, Rexar, and Malfurion. Druid, Hunter, and Warlock. Hmm. I definitely don't want to play Warlock, I know that. Good luck, thank you. Druid. Have I even played... I actually don't know if I've ever played a druid. I think I actually maybe have never played a druid. Um. Yeah. I'm actually going to go with Rexar. I feel like going with the hunter. Yeah, because I've actually played hunter before. I've played Shaman, but I don't think I've played Druid. Yeah, let's go with the Rexar. Okay, whoa. That's an interesting beginning. Sea Giant. Ah, uh, big game hunter's damn nice. Keep that in your hand and wait for them to put something big out on the field. Snake Trap. Mm, snake Trap can be comboed very nicely with the various things like the Scavenging Hyena, well not Scavenging Hyena, the... I can't remember what the damn bird's called, the bird that... <laughs> the one that gives you uh, cards when you summon beasts. Because this summons three 1-1 one -one snakes, which are beasts, which would give you three cards. If you happen to have it out at the same time as this triggers. Which, let's, let's be honest, in Arena, where you can't even ensure that you have two of the... Starving Buzzards, that's what they're called. Yeah, when you can't ensure that you're even going to have two, the chance of actually being able to get that combo is pretty low. So, I'm gonna go with Big Game Hunter. Mm, let's go with Chill Wind Yeti. Good card. Solid. Let's go with Multi Shot. Some nice removal. Let's go with another Multi Shot. Even more removal. Hmm. Okay. I should probably go with the Acidic Swampoos. I'm just kind of attracted to the. That sounded weird. I'm attracted to the young dragon hawk. <laughs> I'm kind of attracted to it because it's a beast. I like beasts. But that's assuming I even get any beast rel you know, beast relevant cards, which I might not. Yeah, it's not really reliable, and this thing's just way too easy to kill, so let's go with the Acidic Swampus. Animal Companion, damn good card. Hmm. Alright, so the Blitzil Raider. I don't know if I'm actually going to get any weapons, so... I might never get to use this battle cry, but... The interesting thing about... About her is that even if you don't use the battle cry, she's still a solid card. She's a 2-3 for 2. Which, that's good. Do I want a one coster? I don't have any. Could be nice. But no, let's go for another two coster. Ooh. I want all of these. Unleash the Hounds can be great if you get the Starving Buzzard or the Scavenging Hyena, which is a pretty good chance I will get at least one of them at some point. I can't rely on it. Which is why maybe I shouldn't do it, but it, I kind of, I kind of want to do it just for the fun of it, to get maybe something like that crazy play I had before, where I turned the entire game around with my Unleash the Hounds. <laughs> that was fun. But I mean, I don't have any card draw, so Loot Hoarder would be good, and Mad Bombers also good. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Unleash. All right. Um. Let's get some card draw. Well, this sucks. Angry chicken. No. Although it is a beast. Still, no. Cold light oracle. Hmm, no. Man addict. D eh. I guess the man addict.
Can't use the Light Warden reliably. Since I'm not a priest. I guess Violet Teacher. I've got a lot of four costers. I need some lower costers. Kill Command, more removal. Ooh. Amani Berserker's good. Could also use some one costers, but let's go with the Amani. It's just too good of a card to pass up. Grimscale Oracle, nope. Reckless Rocketeer, nope. Acidic Swamp Ooze, again. Okay, I don't know if I want a third one. When an enemy minion attacks, return it to its owner's hand, and it costs two more. Could be some nice control. If they have maybe one very, very large enemy uh, minion on the field. Tries to hit you in the face, but then it gets returned and it costs more. Could be nice. I already have five two-costers. I don't know if I want another one. Let's go with it. I also have a lot of four-costers. Makes me not want the Stormwind Knight. For the teacher cult master chill and yeti. Well, okay, only three of them are actually minions, though. Let's go with the Stormwind Knight. Hmm. I want a one coster. I don't want another Unleash the Hounds. Or do I? Hmm. No, I don't even have any Scavenging Hyenas to combo with it at the moment. Or... Or Starving Buzzards. No, let's go with another one coster. Oh, and there it is. Alright, let's go some big stuff because I don't have any. Ravenhold Assassin. Deadly shot. Hmm, another big thing or another removal? Let's go with the removal. Wait, what do I have for card draw? I only have the Cult Master, which is not much. I don't want the Torn Warrior. I think I need more card draw. Yeah, I need more card draw. Wow, I've got, I've got like no freaking beasts. I just realized that. Maybe I shouldn't have even taken... I probably shouldn't have even taken the Scavenging Hyena. What's the point? How many, how many beasts do I have? Don't tell me I have literally none. I have literally no beasts except the Animal Companion, which is going to summon a beast. Wow, okay. I probably shouldn't have taken that. Um... Well, I have no silence, so let's go. I mean, there's a beast, but I need the silence. Starving buzzard. I don't even think I should take it now. I have, like, no beasts. And I have, like, no taunt. I I'm thinking screw the beast combos. Yeah, I... At this point... Counting on getting a bunch of beasts in the last... In the last cards? Uh, no. Okay. More removal, or a big stompy creature? <laughs> There's another beast, of course. I'll go with more removal and hope for another big creature. I don't think I want another arcane shot. Do I, how much removal do I have? Okay. Arcane shot. Freezing trap, which is kind of removal. And deadly shot, two multi shots, and a kill command. I need more big stuff, though. Could combo the, the Hound Master with my Animal Companion. But... 
That just doesn't seem reliable enough. I don't have enough beasts to reliably do anything with that. I'm gonna go with the String of Thorn Tiger. Ooh. Well, I guess I've got a removal deck, huh? In fact, I've got so much removal, I think I just need big creatures for my last two cards. Like, remove everything I have on the board to control it, and then just punch him in the face. But at the moment, I don't really have enough big stuff to really punch him in the face with. Multi-shot or a cane shot? I'm thinking multi-shot. I already have two, though. I, I think I should go with an arcane shot, because I've already got two. Okay, big stuff, please. That's not big. Do I want another two-coster? Not really. Smiteful Smith. Spiteful Smith. Increases my weapon that I don't have. I only have one thing that costs above five. That's not good. Hmm. Do I just keep playing control? Or do I go with this unideal, relatively high coster? I mean, it's not bad. It's a 4 6 for 5, which, you know, if it didn't have the enrage, it would probably be a 5 6 for 5. So it's not a bad card. It's got enough health that it can probably 2 for 1 most things. I think I need bigger stuff, so I'm gonna go with that. Give me something big. Okay, Argent Commander, that's, well, kind of big. Hmm. Let's go with the Argent Commander. Right. Well. I have a massive amount of removal, but almost no beast cards to really combo with any of my beast stuff. I do have the one hyena and the unleash the hound, so if I can get them in the same turn, you know, maybe I could do something with them. But the thing is, I've got so much control, but I don't really have much late game. So I don't think this is going to go too well, to be honest. Let the hunt begin. Alright, scavenging hyena without the Unleash the Hounds is pretty much useless. Do I want to keep my Cult Master? I'll keep my Cult Master. <laughs> and there's my Unleash the Hounds. Right, well, they're never gonna have a weapon, so I might as well get this out now. Greetings, traveler. And anything they put on the board, I can shoot. Do I really want to even bother shooting that stuff? I wonder. Yeah, you know what the hell, let's get some pressure out there. There we go. Bit of early damage. And with what they have on the board at the moment, they still can't kill my acidic swampoos. Hmm. What is even happening in the image for this arcane shot? Like, oh, thank God they got a squirrel instead of a. Devil Soar, or whatever it's called. 
was a mistake. <laughs> no, that's a good play, actually. That's the perfect thing to use it on. It didn't really get much worse than it was. Actually, no, it didn't get any worse than it was before. And there's a good chance it could have gotten better. Hmm. I think I should save my arcane shot. Yeah, just kill that. Shoot him in the face and hit him in the face. But yeah, what's going on in this image for the arcane shot? It's like some three-handed gigantic ogre thing with stitches and it's on a chain and it's getting hit by a, an arcane shot, I guess, and it's got different types of weapons in all of its hands. Let the pain speak to me. <laughs> that sounded so cute! Oh, I feel bad for that thing now. It's like, rare. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'll just play my Cult Master. Kill that thing, they get a card, I get a card. And everybody goes home happy. So next turn I can Animal Companion and Arcane Show. What is that? Oh, great. Okay, well. At least it replaced itself with one card. Alright, let's see what we get. Hmm, 4-4 four, four taunt. And let's just get you out. Next turn, I can Urgent Commander. Or if they play a bunch of small stuff, I could unleash the Hounds, potentially. What is that? Why are you pointing at my... my Misha, or whatever that's called? What is that? Is that a Misha? It's a Misha. Don't point it at my Misha. Leave my Misha alone. That's awkward. Ah, okay, that's what you were thinking of doing. But they wanted to play whatever they're gonna play first, just in case it got destroyed. Hmm. No, I could arcane shot to pop that bubble. I'm thinking maybe pop the bubble with my Bloodsail Raider, and then kill it with the Argent Commander. I don't want to kill it though. Like, I don't want to kill my Bloodsail Raider, but I might have to. I could unleash the Hounds, pop the bubble, but I couldn't really play much else. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I could just leave it. No, let's take it out. Because with what they have on the board, they still can't take out my Archon Commander unless they play a spell. And they played a spell. It's gonna die. Goodbye, Argent Commander. You served me well. You commanded urgently. And I respect you for that. Actually, they might just... They might have removal and just punch me in the face. Wanna blow something up? Oh, they're hoping for two... Nope. No such luck. Whew. 
Thank you, Mad Bomber. Hmm. That makes things awkward. Now I can't arcane shot it. I could unleash the hounds. I should probably hold on to that, though. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for them to play more stuff. They could either... Like, they could take out my acidic swampoos, but then that'll kill it. Or they can play a bunch of stuff, which is what I'm hoping they do. And then I can unleash the hounds. So many possibilities. Alright. Well, that doesn't actually leave them in a great spot. They have very little cards and only a 1-1 Blood Imp. I'm certainly not going to play Unleash the Hounds with that or Big Game Hunter. Uh, let's just get that out there. And shoot him in the face. Unleash the Hounds is looking pretty good right about now. Right, so what could I do with Unleash the Hounds? Well... Well... I think maybe I should just punch him in the face. I'm just gonna summon three. I could take the Priestess of a Loon out. With the Arcane Shot plus my Unleash the Hounds. And leave that there to attempt to beat at my Spiteful Smith if it wants. Let's check this thing out. I'm gonna buff it up, of course it's just gonna get unbuffed, but... Now do I want to kill that? No. Oh, I didn't hero power. Oh well. It probably won't matter. It might cost me the game though. Wouldn't it be funny if that cost me the game? Let me guess, that's a spell. Good time to play that. That is a really good time to play that. This card, uh, two random cards, but they have no cards. Right. Hmm. Whew, at least I can kill it. Yeah, they haven't played anything big enough to even big game Hunter, though. Well, that's the thing to silence. I think I just need to get my big game hunter out there. I mean, it will kill anything they have. So they're probably just going to sacrifice their Bloodfin Raptor. Right, 
right, this isn't looking good. Nope, not looking good. Do I have anything that could possibly deal with this? That's a pretty much good game. In fact, do they have lethal? Uh, not quite. Yeah, they can do 15 damage. Put this apple on your head. Mind if I roll knee. I don't think it's going to let me live, but might as well put it up. I'm almost certain that won't let me live, right? Kill with that. Six, seven, eight, nine. No, I can't. No, that won't let me live. Nope. It it almost got to the point where forgetting to use the hero power actually would have lost me the game, but it didn't. It get it didn't get to that point, so it ended up not mattering. Don't forget your hero power, though. Gotta remember that. I actually, rarely forget it. Amazingly. Anyway, yeah, that didn't go too well. I got my face kind of smashed in there. Hmm. So much removal, but so little punch at the end. And very little beasts. Maybe I shouldn't have gone Hunter. Rexa versus Anduin! The light shall bring victory. Let the hunt begin. Right, unleash the hounds is a late game card. Animal companion to Citic Swamp Boos, yes. Multi shot. Do I want it this early? I'm gonna say no, because I have so much removal. And that's more useful a little bit later on. Alright, that's fine. Is this a spell, actually, so... Yeah, that'll work pretty well. Mana Addict turn... yeah. Greetings, traveler. Greetings. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get that out there, and then turn two, I'll probably Mana Addict. And then turn three, Animal Companion, to combo with the Mana Addict. Shields up! Alright, that thing's gonna die. Yeah, probably just take that out. Yep. Stick with my plan. Should work out pretty well. I can get three damage out of her at least. And summon a beast at the same time. Oh, they have no plays. Okay. Well, it's going to work out well for me. Sweet. Huffer. 4 2 charge. Silver Moon shall not fall. All right. Ooh, deadly shot. Does that pierce through the divine shield? I think it might, but I'm not certain. Because it doesn't say do damage, but rather says destroy. I think it might. Ooh, okay. 
I hope this does what I think it does. Thank God it does. Okay. Well, this is turning out rather well for me, isn't it? Yeah, so Deadly Shot does punch through Divine Shield. Alright, it's gonna die with a multi-shot. Or should I use a multi-shot on it? You know what? Maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. I think I should save my multi-shot. Yeah. You have best Whoa, what the... <laughs> what the hell? Uh... Well played? I didn't have lethal. Thanks? I... Why did they give up? I mean, I had some insane early pressure, and things were going extremely well for me, but that was far from a guaranteed win. That was really strange. I was going to kill it with my side creatures, keep my huffer, and then play the Spiteful Smith. Which means I would have only been able to hit them with 4 damage, which, again, is far from lethal. I don't know, maybe they had terrible stuff in their hand and they knew they couldn't do anything to respond to it? I don't know. Hmm. Two spiteful smiths. Smithses. Smiths. No. Multi-shot. Eh, better late game. Oh, keep the storm in night. Hmm. That's much better. Turn one, I'm a money berserker. Which is, oh, and you came back. And it's dead. Rest in peace, Almani. Do I want to silence? No, I don't. Uh, Citic Swamp Ooze, please. What you want? That's not an Acidic Swamp Ooze. Probably just turn four Storm and Night to punch that thing down, I guess. Yeah, if I played the Mana Addict, it's just gonna get punched in the face with her weapon. Well, they've got quite the taunt wall, don't they? Hmm. I'm not going to be using that yet. For the king! For honor. Now they're going to punch that in the face, but at least I destroyed a minion before that happened. Or they could just use... Oh, no, that's not removal. Okay. Smith seems like a pretty good play because of its amount of health. I could, of course, just silence that thing. I don't have any way of killing this to make sure the deadly shot kills the Senjin. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, deal with this. 
dead. Next turn, I can Deadly Shot and Silence? Another weapon. Acidic Swamp Ooze, please. And it stays alive. Multi shot. Yes. Should I do something else first? Hold on, what else can I do? Hmm. There's a really good chance it's going to kill this engine, which is good. That's what I want it to do. Nah, just see what happens. Alright, not bad. I just raved an old assassin. Or I could chill in Yeti, which actually seems like quite a nice play. Joe and Yeti or Ravenhold Assassin. I hear you got a problem. Right, I'm thinking that. Let them play stuff on the board and then maybe unleash the hounds, bash them in the face. Oh, I could Cult Master and then unleash the hounds and get a ton of cards. Next turn. Assuming they play stuff on the board, which... Yeah, of course they will. That's four cards right there. Of course, I'm going to die. In fact, they have 11 damage on the board, which is far too much. What can I kill? I can card draw like crazy, but that doesn't matter if I die. I'm going to have four. I wonder. Well, I can kill their Azir Drake. Okay, I'm thinking we should do it. Yeah. Join or die or both. <laughs> Let's punch through you. Why, thank you. Job's done. Now that is card draw. In fact, I think next turn, next turn I might actually... Oh, God. <laughs> next turn, I think I might not be able to fit any cards in my hand, actually. Oh, my God. I have so... What the hell do I even play? I have kill command. And the multi-shot. I have so oh god. Yeah, I need removal right now. I have no taunt. Yep, goodbye. Went up into flames. Whew. Right, none of this is taunt, so I need removal now. Do I have any beasts? No, so I can't get a 5 damage kill command. I think just multi-shot and see what happens. Mm, not the greatest. Okay. Um. K 
kill command that. Should I just get this out on the damn board? Um. All right. I'll yeah. I'll just put it on the board. Just get get something. I've got a lot of cards. The chance of me being able to play all of these cards before I simply die is pretty low. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking door howl. Do I see a 1-3 in my future? I think I do. That weapon is incredibly powerful. Bloody gore hell. Toss this. Kill command. Hmm. I'll keep it. Some early removal. Not exactly ideal removal. That's not bad. Not exactly ideal removal, because I'm probably not going to get to combo it with a beast. Oh, hello, Argent Commander. You came back. But I have so much removal that I don't really need to save it. Greetings, traveler. Hmm. So their name is Tiger2791. Does that mean there was 2,790 other tigers? I hope you like my invention. Draw a card, what do I get? Arcane Shot, cool. That's much better early removal than the kill command. I guess Arcane Shot and my own Acidic Swampoos. Goodbye, hello Acidic Swampoos, punch you in the face, and done. Next turn I can Stormwind Knight, or Deadly Shot if they happen to get out two things that have three health. Or, wait, uh, no, sorry. Wrong card. I was thinking of the double shot, or whatever it's called. Might just kill command that thing. Might just ignore it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I might just ignore it. the hounds. And that would give me three. Which wouldn't allow me to do much, to be honest. Unleash the hounds, kill that, then I have three hounds, and that has four health. Hmm. Actually, wait a minute, that might be good. What's the alternative? They're really... Isn't much of an alternative. Alright, hold on. Unleash the hounds, kill that. I have three hounds. Okay. If you're sure. Punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. Okay.
Next turn, I can Arjun Commander. Or Deadly Shot and Kill Command. I will enjoy watching. Whoa. Destroy one of your mana crystals. Okay, that gives me a long-term advantage. Oh god. Kill that with the power over... Hmm. Okay. Honestly, that Felguard does not seem worth it. A 3-5 for 3, and it destroys one of your mana crystals. That... That really doesn't seem worth it to me. Well, I can't Argent Commander it, unfortunately. I could just Deadly Shot it, but then what else do I play? Big Game Hunter? Let's do it. I don't want to hold on to this thing forever. And I did just get rid of the thing they just played that destroyed one of their mana crystals, so... I've kind of denied them the advantage of what they just played. Looks like they need cards. Hmm. Multishot would kill it, but I should probably wait. I'd like to get the Cult Master out there. So if they kill the big game hunter, I get a card. But if I do that, they're probably just going to kill the Cult Master instead. But it would leave a 4-2 on the board. I Let's just get some damage. I mean, we're getting... Yeah, let's just get some pressure going. They're really low on health. Well played. Get in there and fight, yeah, I didn't know they're gonna lose it. All right. I think just cult master and multi shot. Alright, I actually have lethal on the board and in my hand right now. 8 damage plus 3 here. Uh, and it's gone. Ooh, wait a minute. I could kill that with kill command. Get a beast on the board, does 5 damage. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> Please stop moving around, stupid minions. Don't don't dance. Now is not a time to dance. Okay, it's pretty much GG unless they heal themselves or something. Themselves or something, because I can just hero power to kill them. Even, no matter what they have on the board. Even if they have taunt, I can just hero power. <laughs> they life tap themselves to death. Okay, well played. Alright, I'm not gonna finish. 1-3. That's good. I could still finish 2-3, though. Hey, as long as I can get to 3 wins, I'm happy. As always. I will fight with honor. Let the hunt begin. Hmm. At least the Hound's late game... Keep a four coster. It's a later game. Yeah, I'll keep the storm and knife, but I'll toss everything else. Much, much better. That is actually very nice. Hmm, cool.
And to save my acidic swamp boost for if they pull out a... What is it called? True Silver Champion? Yeah. Gonna want to shut that down real fast. Of course, they're not gonna pull it out on turn two. It's impossible. Alright, those just trade for each other. Or I could just arcane shot it. Hmm. It's probably best to just arcane shot it. to be killing that, unless I arcane shot it and sacrifice my blood cell raider, which I don't want to do. So... Because next turn I could potentially kill it, or kill something with the Arcane Shot, and buffer up in the same turn. They have determined that the Paladin needs to be nerfed a bit. The amount of buffing it can do is insane. With the right deck. They can buff pretty crazy. I really don't have enough experience to tell whether it's actually overpowered, though. I have no idea. Okay, that's nasty. Uh, Multishot's looking pretty good right about now. I should probably just wipe the board. That's probably the best thing at this point. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh! That is actually ideal. Actually, no it's not. Oh, I miscounted. I miscounted. I thought I was going to be able to kill them and stay alive because it had two damage, but I didn't look at its health. Never mind. Whatever, it's fine. Let me think. Reporting for duty. One shot. Ooh, nice play. Yep, that's the utility ability of the Ellen Archer. It's damn useful. What have you got? What? Oh, okay. Oh, I can't even arcane shot that thing. It would just enrage it. Alright, so another multi-shot. Hmm. That actually might be the way to go. Okay, they're burning themselves out of cards. That's a good thing. Um. I, wonder. I think the best thing to do is arcane shot this and then multi shot and hope that one of the multi shots hits the Ar Armani. Please, 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 please. Yes! Whew. 
reporting for duty. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator. All right, they've got a bunch of small stuff, but nothing big so far. Yeah, I think just get some stuff out on the board. For honor. Unfortunately, with all these small minions, it makes Deadly Shot nearly useless. No, they could use to sacrifice everything they have on the board for my Stormwind Knight, if they would like to. Okay. I guess Ravenhold Assassin makes the most sense. I hear you got a problem. Should I kill what they have on the board? I'm going to say no. Because if they have more minions and I get an Unleash the Hounds, it'll be more useful for me. Might be a bad call, because I could put up a taunt. Which would stop me from having access to killing the mind control tech like I was going to. Or they could have a divine shield. Let me but think. I'm rolling the dice here. Let's see how it goes. Reporting for duty. I wish they'd make it so you can watch matches. Yeah. <laughs> That's be great. What the hell does that even mean? Um, Unleash the Hounds would be good right about now. Deadly Shot is a terrible play right now. Big Game Hunter is also a pretty bad play. Get in there, and fight, maggot. there, eat nine damage. How does it taste? Not very good? Excellent. I'm going to save my Big Game Hunter for if they put something big and nasty out. I'm really hoping for at least the Hounds. I can't help but notice that I really, really have to go to the bathroom. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well played. At least they used up all their stuff, but still. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They don't have lethal next turn.
They don't have lethal next turn. I just need to play my big game hunter, don't I? The chance of them getting pretty something big and scary next turn is pretty low. Alright, I'm definitely getting that out. Do I attempt to destroy? Do I roll the dice on the flesh eating ghoul? That's big game hunter. Alright, I'm probably gonna lose, but. I don't know. Depends what I get next and what they get next. Like, if I can unleash the hounds, I could potentially win. I mean, that's six damage potential on the board from Unleash the Hounds right now. Now they have to make the call. Do they sink into my current cards or go for me? Obviously, they, if they could have already killed me right now, they would have. Yeah, okay, at least that's sunk two damage. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, do they have lethal after that? I don't think they do. Nope. Okay, it absorbed damage. It, it did its job, but I'm still gonna die. Right, they have exactly 9 damage potential on the board at the moment. Charging for their face is stupid. Let's kill the most hardy thing on the board. Hope? Hope? A 1 in 4 chance that it's the mind control tech? I pretty much have to, right? Oh my god! I got really, really lucky. Well, okay, it's not that lucky. It's a 25% chance, but still. Whew. Let me think. What do you have? Still not game. Okay. Is there any way I could survive? Nope. Well played. Well played. Well fought. Well played. Well, that didn't go so well. Two, three. The dream! I fell lower than mediocre. Yay! Go me! Well, hopefully I get 20 gold so I can do one more arena. Please. Please. I'm addicted, I need more gold. Twenty gold, twenty gold, twenty gold. <gasps> well. No more arenas for me. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to wait a bit. Do daily quests and stuff. Legendary. Legendary. Karen Bloodhoof. Whoa! Oh my God. A Gorhal and a Karen Bloodhoof. Congrats. Thank you. Is that my first legendary? It actually might be. I'm not certain. Wow, that's really cool. Those, these are really good cards, actually. Yeah, Karen Bloodhoof is... Well, it's really nice. Um, assuming it doesn't get silenced. And it certainly is a silence magnet with that death rattle, but... Assuming it doesn't get silenced, it's essentially 8-10 stats for 6. Which is freaking amazing. That is a beautiful card. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me fail with uh, playing a hunter. And I'll be back soon with probably more failure.